Hello, my name is Omar Brown, and I'm here to speak again on my favorite television series, The Walking Dead. Um, I love this show. You know, it's my favorite show. I can binge watch it every day, even if I've seen every episode. But um, I love this show so much because it does a lot of foreshadowing. It, it, it shows a lot of the future before the present, which, you know, it always keeps the viewers wanting to, you know, wondering... Well, how did this person end up here? Or how did this person die? Or where is where did this new person come from? And then, you know, it's always followed by a, a next episode that takes you back into another story that uh, brings you to the events that happened in the previous episodes. You know, and I read every week that, you know, because of this foreshadowing and the more that they're doing now in season five, um, actually... Is making you know bringing ratings up and viewers are are really enjoying it and just keeping them on their toes. Um, and also another thing is uh, this show shows no discrimination, no feminism, no anything. Um, women are just as gets down and dirty just like the men. You know, killing zombies, chopping their heads off. You know, of course this has to happen because it's basically the end of the world. You know zombies running around but for women to step up to the plate and be in that same you know pedestal as a man in those same situations you know is um pretty cool to me you know i can i can appreciate that also um another thing uh the son carl of one of the main characters rick uh, he's growing up through the show, and it just really shows his his maturity, how he has to grow up quick. We we never experience, most of us had, don't have to experience growing up quickly to survive as far as, you know, having to kill zombies, you know, some for other reasons, but for that specific reason, no. So it's amazing to see how, you know, a child that was probably, I think, season one, he was probably no more than maybe 10, 11, 10, 9. And he, Rick immediately told him that, you know, I want you to have a childhood, but it can't happen. It's not going to happen. You have to grow up fast. And it was just amazing watching him grow up so quickly. He's only like 13 now, and he's at the, you know, he's just as good of a shooter uh, survivalist as everyone else in the group so you know I, I can really enjoy that another thing is the enemies that come in through this series are just crazy the first enemy was um, the governor which we believed at the beginning that was possibly for the good but as we saw that he was really trying to be um, the one in main control and anyone who didn't listen to him was either put to death or tortured well ultimately put to death and um which really shocked me and then eventually in the season following after the um governor's downfall it actually showed us his story which is another thing i like we get to see his background on you know how he got to uh how how he felt after he took a downfall. He actually had, you know, a numb heart, but it kind of showed kindness until we saw his true colors again towards mid-season. But um, also the, the uh, I'm not too sure what they were called, but there were another community where they would call, you know, they would put signs up outside the city or outside the area and tell people to you know come it's you know it's safe where they actually are leading people into um, a community that actually captures humans and eats them you know they have a meat factory in the back with just bodies hanging skinned all of that so it's just it's it's amazing to see what kind of things you see on on this show and i just love how they put pieces and pieces together it's not just straightforward it's a lot of foreshadowing it brings us back to the present um it shows us the future first and then takes us back to 
how did we lead up to that? How did this person get to this area? Where did this new person come from? And things of that nature. So, you know, I can really enjoy that. It really keeps me on my toes and keeps me wanting to come back and actually watch more. Um, but, yeah, um, I'm not going to rant too much more. But, yeah, thank you.